Compartment Syndrome of the Foot. Kamal Goku's MD Bas Kent University Alanya Research and Practice Center. Acknowledgement. This video was produced from the web source that was shown below. Musculoskeletal Key. Fastest Musculoskeletal Insight Engine. HTTPS colon slash slash musculoskeletal key dot com slash category slash orthopedic slash. Acknowledgement. We would like to acknowledge the work of Bruce C. Twaddle, MD, Frax, and Onunziotto Armendola, MD, FRCSC, in preparing the text of this chapter in the previous edition and allowing us to revise it for this edition. Citation https colon slash slash musculoskeletal key dot com slash category slash orthopedic slash like those of the hand the muscles of the foot are bound and contained within up to nine named compartments failure to diagnose an acs of the intrinsic muscles of the foot can result in myoneural necrosis with subsequent clauto deformity and paresthesias or hypoesthesia of the foot it is seen most commonly after calcaneal fractures especially highly comminuted, intraarticular fractures, Les Frank injuries, or significant blunt trauma or crush injury to the foot, but it can occur from more innocuous mechanisms as well, like a severe ankle sprain. Rosenthal and colleagues evaluated 47 consecutive patients with calcaneous fractures and found that evidence of missed compartment syndrome of the foot, i.e., clortos, decreased plantar sensation, were present in 10% of patients, and these patients had significantly worse functional outcomes. The clinical findings for a patient with ACS of the foot are usually equivocal. It is difficult to sort out local pain and tenderness to palpation in this area. Also, stretch pain in the foot is not as reliable a sign as it is in the hand. Intracompartmental pressures can be measured. Similar to the leg, 13 Hg has been advocated as an absolute pressure threshold. In the end, the decision is a clinical one, based on pain out of proportion, worse with passive stretch, and a tense feel to the foot, with or without intracompartmental pressure ICP, measurement. While Myerson and colleagues have reported that the use of a pneumatic intermittent impulse compression device on the foot following calcaneous fracture significantly reduces intracompartmental pressure, this is a means of reducing swelling and the risk of compartment syndrome, it is not a treatment. As with other areas of the body, the treatment of choice for ACS of the foot is fasciotomy. The classic compartments of the foot are the medial, central, lateral, and interosseous, all of which may need to be decompressed, figure. A calcaneal compartment that includes the quadratus plantae muscle has also been described. Previously felt to be part of the central compartment, the role ischemic contracture of the quadratus plantae plays in clorto deformity and the presence of this contracture despite seemingly adequate release of the central compartment has demonstrated that this is a distinct fascial compartment. Figure Compartments of the foot. Similar detail can be seen with magnetic resonance imaging. Redrawn with permission from American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, AAOS, Orthopedic Knowledge Update, Foot and Ankle, Rosemont, Illinois, 1994, AUS, P263. After the diagnosis has been made, decompression of the foot can be carried out by a variety of techniques. Two dorsal incisions, centered over the second and fourth metatarsal, provide excellent access to release the four interossei compartments, and the deeper, plantar compartments can be reached with blunt dissection between and lateral to the metatarsals. Elevating the interossei off the metatarsals improves the decompression of these compartments. A medial incision, starting distal to the medial malleolus along the inferior border and extending to the neck of the first metatarsal, allows release of the medial, superficial, central, calcaneal, and lateral compartments. Figure. See figure. Incisions are available for decompression of foot compartment syndromes. Redrawn with permission from American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, AAOS, Orthopedic Knowledge Update, Foot and Ankle, Rosemont, Illinois. 1994, AUS, P264. In the setting of a calcaneous fracture, the medial incision alone may be sufficient. 
starting at the posterior tuberosity of the calcaneus and using only the proximal half of the medial incision, one can access and release the fascia overlying the quadratus plantae by releasing the fascia about and retracting the abductor hallucis. Likewise, in the setting of ACS following metatarsal fractures or a less frank injury, the two dorsal incisions may be sufficient. In crush injuries, it may be best to perform all three incisions to ensure that all compartments are released. Lastly, there is controversy regarding the best treatment for ACS of the foot that is delayed in presentation, i.e., greater than 24 hours from onset. Some advocate not performing fasciotomy in this situation, as prolonged ischemia has already produced myonecrosis and or permanent neural injury and the intact skin overlying the necrotized muscle below is the best defense against infection. The best treatment for this morbid condition has not been determined in clinical study. Acknowledgement. This video was produced from the web source that was shown below. Musculoskeletal Key. Fastest Musculoskeletal Insight Engine. HTTPS colon slash slash musculoskeletal key dot com slash category slash orthopedic slash Acknowledgement. We would like to acknowledge the work of Bruce C. Twaddle, MD, Frax, and Onunziotto Armendola, MD, FRCSC, in preparing the text of this chapter in the previous edition and allowing us to revise it for this edition. Citation https colon slash slash musculoskeletal key dot com slash category slash orthopedic slash thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my youtube channel